Here's the quadruped hold. Yeah. So my elbow creases are facing forward and I'm making sure that my hips and my shoulders are 90 degrees. Not like this or like this, but making sure that, yeah, my back is neutral and my knees are low. Not like this. If you feel like you have to do that, I'd rather you just take a break and not go the full 30 seconds. Just aim for going as long as you can, hopefully 30 seconds, with perfect form. And then the next one, extending a leg out to the side. The goal is to relax all the muscles on my inner thigh, which are always crazy tight for me. So I need to do this a lot. But in order to do that, I'm pressing into my hands, making sure that my arms are straight. I'm not like this, and I'm not hunched over, and I'm not letting my hips open up to the side. But I'm trying to really lock the hips down so that they're facing square to the ground. And same with my shoulders. And I'm breathing, using my breath. To relax those hip muscles. Also paying attention to what's going on behind me. Make sure my foot, ankle isn't caving in my foot's sliding in. I want to keep it really just facing straight back. <sighs> Breathing into those thighs. <sighs> Lovely. Whew. Number three. The foot that was out to the side is now forward. And then now the back leg goes back. And I'm crouching like a samurai ready to dismember my opponent. Sitting back on my haunches, leaning my weight into the front leg, trying to stay tall. And then moving on from there, once that starts to feel comfortable, I can move my front leg forward more and then press into the back knee. Boy, does that feel good. Yeah, the crunch, trying to stay tall, shoulders back, hips, and my hips are sliding down and forward towards my heel, hip to heel. I can play around with different hand positions, whatever feels most appropriate. Number four is the half kneeling, knees 90 degrees, archer. So I'm going to look back over the standing leg, stringing an imaginary bow, creating tension through my arms, which has to do with rhomboids activation. My shoulder blades are sliding together in the back. Boom. Opening up my chest. <sighs> giving me posture and thoracic rotation. Making sure that my hips and everything below my lower body is square to the front, but then through my upper body, I'm trying to get that rotation. Got him. Shot him in the heart. And the last one, standing up off the back leg, triangle. Back foot is 45 degrees, and my hips are square to the side. Same with my shoulders. And I'm just trying to Slide my hips backwards, maintain that squareness to the side, and then reach up and down. And again, creating tension in my back. Between my shoulder blades. 
most importantly, keeping those hips square. Boom. And sliding back. It's a lot easier to get depth if you don't keep your hips square like this. Look, see? Oh. Oh. Not impressive. Oh, lock it in. And then work with whatever range of motion that gives you. <laughs> 